I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Who are you? Hey, this is Matt once again. What about to another review? This is a series of reviews for Lucas Green, and this time it's Astro Boy. Thank you for the paid request, Lucas. I really appreciate it. Now, Astro Boy, I don't know much of the source material. Never saw the original Astro Boy. Now, how it's different or the same, I don't have a fucking clue. As a movie, I thought this was average. I don't mind the look of the film. The kid who is the star of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory with Johnny Depp, he voices the main character of Toby. Nicholas Cage, which I'm like, why? I mean, I like Nicholas Cage, but why? Apparently he was a big fan of the source material. That's why he's in this. He's the father of this kid, and the father is his genius guy who builds robots Donald Sutherland he's his higher up and he'll be our main villain Eugene Levy who he's been a lot of stuff American Pie films in particular he's the voice of this robot that works with them anyway this experiment happens things get fucked up this robot goes haywire does he put this red shit in there and the robot vaporizes the kid Surprising. <laughs> it's like, oh shit. So, of course, the dad is a bit miffed about that. <laughs> so he builds a robot son. And apartment's like, it's going to be Mega Man? No. Why haven't they done a Mega Man movie now that I think about it? But he makes a robot, puts his kids' memories in it. And apparently a shitload of weapons, too. To, I guess protect himself now the thing about that is after only a little bit of time this dad played by Nick Cage is such a fucking dickhead that he's like you're a copy of my son and I don't want you anymore D number one you're a villain to me you're a villain don't give me this bullshit where you unplug him then 30 seconds later you plug him back in and he is my son. No, you're a villain. No redemption for you. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Fuck you. Full force. So that's where Nick Cage's character lost it for me. I'm like, fuck this guy. He should either, he's the villain and he should die. It was harsh. No, fuck it. You build a robot, you do all this shit, then it's like, you're, I don't want you anymore. So you throw him in the garbage, or you're ready to, to kill him? Fuck you. Also, you're an idiot, because you put all these fucking weapons into him. What did you think? They're just your kid, you say, you're not my son, and I don't want you anymore. What the fuck do you think he was going to do? Go like, Abu away, Abu away. Like, no, he's going to be either pissed, and shoot you in the face, or sad and run away 
with a shitload of weapons in him. You fucking tool. You fucking idiot. You just took a shit on a kid who's got 18 fucking machine guns, including two out of his fucking ass. Literally has cannons out of his ass. He literally does say, I got machine guns in my butt. Well, better than other things in your butt. What the fuck was Dick Cage's character thinking? I don't know. But it's like... What the fuck do you think the kid was going to do? You you should be lucky he didn't shoot you in the face. So for a genius, you're pretty fucking stupid. So he's chased. You get some lame jokes. Body f was a bodily fluid status on one, this one guy. But he's trying to do the right things, saving the people who's trying to capture him. He gets blown away. He lands in garbage. He meets these kids. And that's what I mean. There's nothing that made me mad except that part I mentioned with Nick Cage's character. But it's also just pretty meh. I mean, it, it seems to go through the motions. There's certain characters you wonder why are they there. Like they do this whole thing where as he's being these kids, there's also these robots that want a revolution. Must have been the inspiration for the shit in Solo a Soy Boy story with the fucking computers wanting the revolution and equal rights and shit. Why was that in there? I guess these robots are supposed to be comedy relief, but they're in like three, four scenes and you could have easily cut them out. The kids, pretty much they do kid stuff and there's this big machine named Zod, voiced by Sam Jackson for some reason, who has like five lines in the movie. It's like, wow, they got you got Samuel Jackson to voice five fucking lines. Maybe it's like eight. Eight lines. Okay. That was a worth it. Not. I like the bit where uh, this guy, played, voiced by Nathan Wayne, finds out he's a robot, puts him in this robot tournament, and Astro Boy tits all these robots' ass. That was a fun sequence. He gets captured, Nick Cage unplugs him, then 30 seconds later, I'm like, what? Why the fuck did you unplug him in the first place? You unplug him, and literally 30 seconds later, you're like, never mind. Are you schizophrenic? Is this Nick Cage character just. Does he have a split personality we don't know about this character? And Dallas Sutherland gets sucked into the evil robots, so they merge as one, and they're wrecking the city, and Astro Boy. Fights the machine, then he has to fly into the core of the machine. Ah. This is one of those movies I just, I'm watching and I'm not, not that fully engaged. I'm not that fully engaged with the plot, I'm not that fully engaged with the story. I don't mind the look design of Astro Boy. I don't mind the voice of Astro Boy, even though I'm going, how old is this character supposed to be? Because the character looks like he's supposed to be 10 years old or 12 years old, but it sounds like a eight sounds like 18 year old trying to sound that. So it's like if you're if you're supposed to be this young, why don't you just get a kid that young to voice it? But you did it seemed like you got an older kid to try to pretend to sound younger. I'm not buying a hundred percent, but it's not an awful voice, but it's like yeah, made me go, well, how old is this fucking kid supposed to be? Because you sound like an older kid pretending to be a younger kid. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. The other t kids are there. Can't say much about them. I mean, it was a short enough movie. I, I don't mind the animation of the film. The opening was interesting. Wow, they vaporized the kid. Okay, and... Where's this going to go? And then it just seemed very routine after that. The end battle, the battle he had in the robot terminal, that was a more fun, exciting battle than the end battle. Plus he had stupid shit like, I got machine guns in my butt. Why does he have machine guns in his butt now that I think about it? Why? That was weird for the father to put in. Hmm, 
I'm building my kid. Hmm, let me look at his butt. Let me put machine guns in my kind of kid's butt. Maybe Nick. Maybe Nick. I don't even want to go that route. I, it, this is not a rant because it didn't fucking piss me off that much. But at the same time, I go. I just see why no one talks about this film ever. And this film came out technically 11 years ago. It's not the worst movie ever. And you could probably get some enjoyment out of it with low expectations. That's not fair to say. That's not fair to say. You get enjoyment out of it with. I would say if you. I mean, maybe if you do go in, maybe if you do go into it with low expectations, maybe be like, okay, it's a time waster. But I, I, at the end of it, I go, I wouldn't give a shit to see a sequel. It sets it up for a sequel. And I can see why the film didn't do well. I can see why no one ever talked about this. It's a very kind of routine, or it becomes a routine, forgettable movie. It's funny when he gets his, he doesn't know he's a robot yet, but when he flies, he's not that impressed. He's a little bit going woohoo, but he's not like, what the fuck? Why do I have booster rockets under my feet? How come I can fly? How come I can go through a mountain and up top a mountain? How come I can do all this? He doesn't seem that shell shot. He doesn't seem that horrified or that surprise just laughing i mean laughing doesn't laughing is something but at the same time if i all of a sudden right now there's booster rockets under my feet and i'm flying i do a lot more than laugh shot going what the fuck the variety emotions of the rainbow but you don't really get that so it's like okay you're willing to go with the vaporize a kid and nothing and kill him. So I understand the source material. He wasn't killed. He was just hurt. On, or did he die in a car accident? I can't remember. Did he die? Maybe he did die. And he brought him back. Maybe that is. I did. I don't know much of the source material. And if you do know the source material, you let me know what all was different. Is this a good representation of Astro Boy or no? Let me know. So as it is, it is what it is. It just it didn't impress me, but it didn't make me rage too much. So Bret Hart four out of ten. I don't know. We'll see you guys later. Bye bye.